If you've watched the Indy 11 this season and wondered, hmm, who are these newcomers? And you're definitely not alone when you wonder that. Our News 8 sports team decided the best way for you to get to know the boys in blue is to put them in the hot seat. We got their take on topics, including if they're Team Brady or Team Peyton Manning. And their answers, they may surprise you. Hi, I'm AJ Cochran, second year with Indy 11. We have a lot of new faces on the team this year, so we're going get to get to know some of the new boys in blue. Here we go. First off, let's introduce yourself. I'm Stefan Lupin from Brazil, so I'm happy to be here. I'm a striker as well. Justin Ingram. I'm Alexander McQueen, uh, London born and raised, also play for Grenada. All right, time to ask you a question. What team outside of Indy 11 do you support? Uh, so I support Fluminense from Brazil. And I like uh, Real Madrid as well. I support Man City. Um, I think just the way they play is, is really fun to watch. My club back home in England is Aston Villa. That's my favorite team. Um, but we kind of base our game on how Liverpool play, so we're big kind of fans of Liverpool as well. I support Arsenal, unfortunately. <laughs> At the minute. <laughs> All right, with Justin here, uh, first question, Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Messi. Messi is the best player ever, so it's definitely I'm cute, I'm cute. <laughs> Ronaldo. Second question. Uh, here in Indy, um, big basketball state, are you a Michael Jordan or LeBron James guy? LeBron. Easy. Another easy one. MJ over LeBron. Um, Jordan's just, just clutch, man. I'm going to say LeBron. And uh, a hard one. Um, are you a Peyton Manning or Tom Brady guy? That is tough. Being from Indy, I have to say, I have to say Peyton. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Don't know what I was meant to say, but sorry. I'm going to disappoint people here. I'm a big Tom Brady fan. Tom, Tom wins. We have uh, 11 different countries represented on our roster this year. And a uh, question for Mr. McQueen is your craziest travel story. Um, last year... Uh, we played El Salvador away. We had a letter from the president saying we could come into the country, um, which was denied when we got to the customs. They were like, no. And then when we was meant to be boarding, the tickets they gave us was actually to Costa Rica, going back. And they said, when you get to Costa Rica, then you're not our problem anymore. It's been some really good place, I'll tell you that. It's great to see the country. Um, going to Puerto Rico was pretty cool when we were in NASL. Actually, Indy 11 would have gone to Puerto Rico as well, so that was nice. Um, but I think it's when... The, the, the things you remember, it's when things might not go to plan. One time, like, they were, like, with the flight, and you cannot, like, land because it was, like, some, like, rocket around the airport in oh, Saudi wow. Arabia. So <laughs> we stay, like, for a while, like, 35 minutes away, the rocket goes, so we can, like, land it there. I really don't have many crazy uh, travel stories. I guess I'm from Indy, so, you know, hopefully I have... Not too many this year either. Um, you know, we're, we're at home, and I'm excited, excited for the year. Ooh, that was kind of fun. We're so proud to be your home for the Indy 11. The boys in blue are back at Carroll Stadium tomorrow night to host Atlanta United 2. That match starts at 7 p.m. You can watch all that action on our sister station, My Indy TV 23.